Hey everybody, I've got a cool prediction card trick to show you. My prediction is written down right on this dollar bill. The trick is called money to burn, because if I don't get the prediction right, I'm going to burn the dollar. So hopefully I'll get my prediction right. I've got a normal deck of cards here. Give it a cut and a shuffle. Now, I'm going to riffle through the cards. I want you to tell me when to stop. Okay, stop. Here's the card. Put it right on top. Now, for the first time, my prediction. The Eight of Clubs. Let's see if it was right. The Eight of Clubs. So my prediction was right. Um, I don't have to burn my dollar. Wait, oh. The prediction wasn't right. Alright, well I have to keep my word, I'll burn the dollar. Or I could use some magic and change my prediction. So, it, just a little bit of magic. It changes into the three of spades. And... The top card changes as well. So, for this trick, you're going to need a deck of cards, a lighter, a piece of paper, or a, a dollar bill or any bill a regular pen and another pen called a friction pen. It's a pilot friction pen. You can see. Um, I got this at Rite Aid. You could get it really anywhere pens are sold. Uh, they're pretty common or you could get them online I guess. You could just really go to Staples or Office Max, any store like that. So uh, you just need this special pen because it's an erasable pen. It's got this little tip and it uses friction to be erased. So friction causes heat, so a lighter obviously causes heat, so it does the same thing that a friction, what the uh, tip would do, and it erases it. So I'll just give you a little example. Hello, in my terrible handwriting. Goes away with the heat. So when you do something on the dollar or on a piece of paper, you use a regular pen and you write three of clubs, color that in, so it looks like that, and then you go over that with the friction pen to make it into an eight of clubs. So you go from the three of spades to the eight of clubs and you can fill it in too. Like that. So, prediction, you can say it changes into a three of spades. So you want to be careful with this because you're using fire. So obviously, yeah, be careful. So that's how you do the uh, prediction changing. To do the card trick part, you're going to have it set up with the three of spades on top and with the eight of clubs on the bottom. Sorry, you're going to do that in reverse. Sorry about that. You're going to put the 8 on top and the 3 on bottom. You're going to start with just a basic false cut. You're going to take the bottom half of it, tap it on the top, put it on the bottom, put the top back on the top so it's nothing's changed. The 3 is still on the bottom and the 8 is still on top. Now you're going to do a shuffle, making sure to have the 3 go down first. So it's still the bottom card. And then having the... 8, which is over here, go on last, so it's still the top card. Once you have that done, you're going to do a Hindu shuffle, but um, you're going to take your pinky and have a little pinky break right there. Go through the cards, so the card is always on the bottom. So just go through like that, have them say stop, and you show them your card, their card, and you don't see what it is, but you show them. So you put it on the bottom, you put it right there, you put this part of the cards back on top, and then you take your two fingers right here, don't show them that you have a break, lift up the bottom part, put it on top, set it down, take their card, put it right on top. Now you're going to go through the uh, prediction, and you show them that you were wrong, but the top card, you do a double lift here. 
the top card still is the 8. So then you go through the whole changing the prediction, and it turns into a 3 spades. And then the top card also changes into a 3 spades. So that's the trick. If you have any questions, just comment. I'll be happy to answer. Thanks for watching.